Before we begin answering and taking your questions, as usual, there's a few minutes as an introduction to today's episode. And the title is, Don't Be a Rambo. Most of us have delusions, think strongly of ourselves. And this is okay in most cases until it jeopardizes other people's safety and their livelihood. A sister called me a few moments ago from now, telling me about a relative of hers who died in Karla, India, due to COVID-19. His wife is also infected and in quarantine in hospital. Their sons are also in quarantine. The whole building is being checked to see whether they're infected or not. People are taking this matter lightly, either because of the conspiracy theories that are surrounding us. So they think that, okay, someone said it's a conspiracy theory so that the economy would fall down and the rich would start to buy cheap or because the shares in China would drop, foreign investment would leave and the Chinese would control it. Do you have any proof for that? No, but I heard someone say something. Heard it from a friend. Subhanallah. You base your livelihood, your safety, and the safety of those you love on hearsay. Don't be a Rambo. Don't think that my immune system is strong. I'll wear the virus down. It will go. It will come a day or two or go. Also, in our beautiful country of Nigeria, a brother called me a couple of days ago, telling me, Sheikh, there is a big problem in Nigeria. The people are unable to understand how serious it is. Though there is a lockdown by the authorities, by the Muslim president, President Buhari, yet people insist, some people, insisted on performing Jumu'ah prayer. And he sent me a clip of thousands of Muslims and worshippers facing one another in a very crowded area and thinking that nothing could happen to us. Either this or we are so poor, dying is okay. Achi, don't be a Rambo. Dying is okay for you. I have no problem. You can go and die. But why infect your mother? your grandmother, the children in the family, the innocent who come and hug you and kiss you, thinking that you are their loved one who cares for them and for their safety. If you don't care about yourself, give some attention to the community, to the society, to the other Muslims. Would you like to be infected? If someone comes to you and say, listen, I have it, and I'm going to infect you with it. Are you okay with that? Definitely not. Then how is it okay for you to go and harm others? When the Prophet said, والسلام, لا يؤمن أحدكم, He will not believe. One of you will not believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. If you love for yourself not to be infected by others, then at least have the honor not to infect others. The authorities told you, pray at home. In Saudi Arabia, the major grand muftis and scholars of Saudi Arabia gave this instruction two weeks ago. Yesterday, it was my second week, praying Friday at my home, praying at al dhuhr for rakaz, with my family, not Jumu'ah. We've been almost 13 days unable to pray in the masjids 
unable to sit until ishraq and sunrise and pray, unable to do the things we love. Don't you think that this breaks our hearts? Definitely it does, but Islam is not based on whims and desires. Islam is a logical religion. It's not based on impulsive decisions. It's based on consequences of your choices. And what the people are doing in Nigeria, what the people are doing in Pakistan and India, and trying to be a Rambo is wrong, is sinful, and is selfish. Because they care only about themselves. They don't care about Jannah or Nar. They don't care about heaven and hell. They just want to prove a point. So don't be a fame seeker. Don't be a Rambo. If you don't care about yourself, the least you could do is care for your parents, your grandparents, the elders. Look at the foreign countries, UK, US. Look what's happening in Italy and Spain. Well, Italy is not that dangerous anymore. The US is now number one in the spread of the disease. The UK, even the top in the government, the top ranks are infected and are in quarantine after being stubborn and saying and claiming that it's okay, 60% of the population gets the virus, but then get immune later on. It's okay if we lose a couple of hundred, couple of thousands of the elders who needs them. Don't be a Rambo and look at them now. So the problem is not in getting this virus because it can go and it can come. The problem is that all countries of the world are not medically equipped. They do not have enough ventilators. So each hospital has 20 to 30 ventilators because they're expecting to get five to 10 sick people a day. But when a pandemic like this takes place and they end up with a thousand sick people a day, they have to be selective. They have to play, astaghfirullah, the role of the one who decides who lives and who dies. So they have only 30 ventilators and 1,000 are on the waiting list. They select the young and the healthy who have more probability of living and the rest may die. We can't do anything else. So this is the biggest fear, not of the infection. 80% recover, but the average age of those who die is between 70 and 80 years of age. The elders are effect affected great greatly by this. And some children as well, and some youth as well, but very small percentages. Do not be a Rambo and pray at home and inshallah make a lot of dua that Allah Azza wa unveils this calamity from all of us. Ameen.